isolation of the RNA transfer RNA molecules play an important role in this process because they deliver amino acids to the ribosome in the order specified by the mRNA sequence, ensuring that the amino acids are correctly assembled. In cells, there are many different types of tRNA, each of which binds to one of the 20 amino acids. As a result, each amino acid may contain a large number of tRNA molecules. Transfer RNAs that bind to the same amino acid are known as isoacceptors. Amino acylation of tRNA enzymes in acylation conclusion. Before translation begins, amino acids are covalently attached to their tRNAs, which recognize codons in the mRNA that designate that amino acid. The process of attaching an amino acid to its tRNA is known as amino acylation. The amino acid is covalently linked to the tRNA's acceptor arm, which always ends in 5' to CCA 3'. Amino acylation of tRNA, the amino acid's carboxyl group connects to 3' hydroxyl of the acceptor arm's terminal adenine. Amino acyl tRNA synthesizes enzymes that catalyze the charging reaction which require ATP hydrolysis. Each amino acid is, has its own enzymes that can charge all of uh, the amino acids isoaccepted tRNAs. The amino acyl tRNA synthetase recognizes both the appropriate amino acid and the corresponding tRNA. When the amino correct amino acid is corrected to the tRNA, it identifies the amino acid's codon and the mRNA, allowing it to insert the amino acid in the correct location as determined by the tRNA mRNA sequence. This ensures that the amino acid sequence encoded by the mRNA is correctly translated. Codon recognition is accomplished through the tRNA anticodon loop, specifically three nucleotides in the anticodon loop that binds to the codon via complementary base pair. A three pin plug with a socketed base is recognized in the same way as the full codon anticodon fitting. Both the pin and the socket are highly specific. DNA's four nucleotides can be combined to create 64 codons. Three codons indicate the com completion of translation, while the remaining 61 code for the 20 amino acids found in proteins. As a result, most amino acids have multiple codons. So, both the pin and the socket are highly specific. DNA's four nucleotides can be combined to create 64 codons. Three codons indicate the completion of translation, while the remaining 61 code for the 20 amino acids found in proteins. As a result, most amino acids have multiple codons. The cytoplasm contains inactive amino acids. When they obtain energy from ATP, they become active. When an amino acid binds to ATR, the reaction is triggered. This step is carried out by amino acyl RNA, RNA synthesis, synthetase a specific activating enzyme. A high energy acyl bond is formed between the phosphate of ATP and the carboxyl group of an amino acid during the production of amino acid adenylate. ATP phosphates are converted to inorganic pyrophosphate. The amino acid active is transported to the corresponding tRNA. A high energy ester bond is formed by the carboxyl group of amino acid and the 3' hydroxyl group of the terminal adenosin of tRNA. When the amino acyl AMP enzyme complex combines with appropriate tRNA and amino acyl tRNA complex is formed. So amino acylation is a two-step process that is catalyzed by a group of enzymes known as amino acyl tRNA synthetase. There are 20 amino acyl tRNA synthetases in each cell, one for each amino acid in the genetic code. In the first step of amino acyl tRNA production, ATP and the appropriate amino acid produce an amino acyl adenylate intermediate. The enzyme inorganic pyrophosphate catalyze the breakdown of inorganic pyrophosphate to free phosphate. The amino acyl adenylate intermediate is high energy and amino acyl transfer to the acceptor end of the tRNA occurs without need for additional ATP in the second step. The amino acyl tRNA synthetase edits tRNA to prevent misacylated tRNA from being used in protein synthesis. Because the ribosome must treat all amino acyl tRNAs in the same in order to form the peptide bond, any tRNA containing the wrong amino acid would be used for protein synthesis, potentially resulting in the production of a dangerous protein. A second active site on the amino acyl tRNA synthetase edits amino acyl tRNA for accuracy. In enzymes in acetylation, acylation, the enzyme's function is to cleave the incorrect amino acyl tRNA and release free amino acids and tRNA. This process is similar to the editing that occurs during DNA synthesis due to the 3' 5' prime exonucleolytic activity of DNA polymerase. Like that procedure, amino acyl tRNA editing results in a feutite cycle in which the enzyme uses energy to build a link and then breaks it down. Both scenarios preserve information for processing fidelity at the expense of energy wastage because mistakes are so harmful to the cell that the cost is re reasonable. 
the active amino acid is transported to the corresponding tRNA. A high energy ester bond is formed by the carboxyl group of amino acid and the 3 prime hydroxyl group of terminal adenosine of tRNA. When the amino acid AMP enzyme complex combines with the appropriate tRNA, the amino acid tRNA complex is formed.